Welcome back guys to another one of my videos and what I got for you guys today is another video or another sequel to responding to Baker's ass and today's mission involves us recovering a container over at the Los Santos docks with the help of a Skylift helicopter. That helicopter introduced into the game with the Smuggler's Run DLC, well we'll be using it in this mission. Just so we know entirely what this mission's about, we'll listen to Miss Baker speak on the phone. And before that, I just want to let you guys know that if you subscribe to my channel and have your subscription set to public, I will see that you've subscribed and I will shout you out on my next video in the intro. So if anybody is just tuning into the video, you'll be seen right at the beginning of the video. If you want me to say anything while you're being shouted out, let me know down in the comments such as go check his channel out, subscribe to him, or anything you'd like me to say. Don't hesitate to let me know down in the comment section. Also, let me know if you guys are enjoying this series, and if you'd like me to continue it, or if you have any other type of content that you'd like me to feature on this channel. Also, make sure to let me know. I can also feature any other video game, it doesn't all have to be GTA, but it's my base game, so yeah. And with everything out of the way, let's get into today's Baker missions called One Armed Bandits. Surveillance on our latest shipment of slot machines has picked up some pretty shifty guys taking an interest. Might be nothing, but just in case, could you go and do the pickup? Best go prepared. Alright, so that was Miss Baker's speech, and I wasn't able to record it all, but I managed to record her final words. So basically, we're gonna have to go down to the Los Santos docks, and we're gonna have to scout the area to find the correct container that contains what we're looking for. For this mission, it's best to use the oppressor, as you'll see real soon, since it's a vehicle that will allow you to move around the docks silently and smoothly, so that you can approach any container easily and move on to the next container if that wasn't the one. I guess you can also do this the lat way since there will be a lot of bad guys protecting and surveying the area, trying to catch kids like me stealing their shit, but nevertheless I did it the stealthy way even though I got discovered in the end. But I'm getting a little too far ahead of myself here so let's see what happens now. So we'll just be heading over to the terminal now which is just fancy words for the dirty ass docks which really is dirty since there one of my friends has their entire motorcycle club businesses and whenever he feels like taking some drugs or shit he just goes down there and takes a few smokes leaving the docks dirty AF so yeah it's a dirty place. At first I didn't know what I was supposed to expect which is why I'm going with my trophy racks but if you don't have your oppressor with you just log into your MC business, become a president and call in your oppressor. The reason I recommend the oppressor is because you will be required to search containers, some of which are up piles of other containers stacked on top of other containers, so to get up to those you'll need some flying thing to get you up there. You can use any vehicle, but flying vehicles are most preferred and recommended for this mission. But of course you can just ditch my words and go on with your choice and ignore me as if I was a retard. So now we've received a message from Ms. Baker saying, you're looking for a container with KM25 printed on it. Send me a picture of the whole code and I'll confirm. I'm not sure if it might be the same code for you, which is KM25 for me, but either way, just look for the code that she tells you to look for. Once you get to the docks or not, because I also forgot to say that one same mission can take place in various different places or locations. So this mission might not take place for you in the docks, but it's totally the exact same mission. So calm down. So yeah, I'm calling in my press mark 2 through the interaction menu. And once I get it, I'll be flying around this place like Santa Claus. So nothing special now. Just go around searching for the containers. You don't have to read off of them the code, just by approaching them close enough the game will let you know if it was the correct container. The containers by the way are marked in blue rectangles on the minimap, and the enemies which you should try to avoid if you're doing this the stealthy way are also marked on your minimap in big red dots. Each of the dots with their own blue cone of vision, so keep out in a way of the blue cones if you want to avoid being detected. And as you're seeing right now on screen, I'm kind of embarrassing myself because I really didn't know how to locate the containers. I thought you had to take some sort of snapmatic or picture of the code. But as you can see, I just approached the container. And as you can see on the minimap, the blue rectangle of the container has disappeared. So again, just by approaching the container, the game will let you know if that was the correct container. So now I'll just be speeding this part up a bit until I find the correct container. Also, in case you guys find a guy next to a container that you want to check, bring out your silenced weapons, just like I've used here. I used my silenced sniper, although it didn't quite go so well because one of his partners 
heard him die but you know just be careful shoot them in the head and again I got close to it and the game confirmed that that was indeed not the correct container so I moved on to the next container and I think that this time around I did find the correct container and here you guys are about to see some insane bloopers of me fa uh, falling off of a three story container pile but just moving on trying to find the goddamn container because I've already searched for like three containers or so and haven't found it yet so hopefully I find it this time bruh and I finally found the container that I was looking for I didn't even have to get that close to it for the game to register that I found it so now the game is telling me to take a photo of the code on the container so I gotta search for KM25 as Miss Baker told us before and this is yet another embarrassing part of this mission I really was having trouble finding the code I had no idea on which side it would be you know the container has four sides so this site really wasn't the one and I didn't even know that I had to search for code KM25 I was just taking pictures of any letters or numbers that I was seeing on the container and here I didn't even say you can jump over this empty space and then I just got really got up close to the container and finally I found KM25 with big numbers and letters to the side in white so I took a picture of that and I sent the photo to Miss Baker and after you've sent the photo to Miss Baker, you will be told to wait just a little bit, about 5 to 10 seconds, and then Miss Baker will call you back, so let's hear what she's got to say. I hope it's a date, but it won't. Bad news, though. Our cartel friends did their homework and sabotaged our delivery helicopter. They must have one of their own nearby. The quickest way out of this mess is to find it and use it. So yeah, we're going to be stealing a Skylift helicopter which is right next to us and here is where things get bad for me as I did actually die since I didn't expect them to be so damn good but I just took my presser to the Skylift. I tried wiping them out with a silent sniper at long range but as you'll see I got killed. And at this point it really doesn't matter which method you take to kill them just get the damn chopper pick up the container with it which let me tell you guys now it's easy it's not like trying to pick up shit with a cargo bop although if you can't pick shit up with a cargo bop that's pretty despairing but picking up a container and big containers is pretty easy it's got a nice big magnet that'll fix and stick it to your sky lift so as I'm now about to take this corner this turn yeah here's the sky lift and there are a few guys hanging around it so which are the guys that I was talking to you guys about so just approach them in whichever way you like and get rid of them basically so yeah I just came with my silent shotgun but I didn't manage to lock on to the guy that needed some killing so he actually killed me and now that I was at long range I did take this opportunity to get rid of them at long range and yeah just take the sky lift once you get rid of them So yeah, there goes the guy dead, and now just run towards the skylift, get on it, and pick up your container, which, again, is pretty easy, so don't worry, guys, if you guys don't have much skill in piloting helicopters. So, okay, the game tells us to collect the container, as expected, so let's get some lift off, and let's head over to the container. At this point, everyone in the docks figured out that I was trying to steal this shit and that I had killed some of their friends so everyone was shooting at me so I knew that I had to go quick and fast because if not this thing was gonna start dying it was gonna start smoking and shit and see I really didn't even get that close at all and it just stuck to my to the bottom of my chopper so it's that easy guys nothing to worry about and now I'll just speed this part up a bit and enjoy this very rare but impressive footage of the Skylift. We don't see too much of this helicopter in GTA Online nowadays, but it is a pretty cool helicopter, especially with the crate under it, and it's got a really weird shape. But yeah, I'll just speed this part up, guys, for you, and I'll start saying the shit that I have to say before the video ends, so hear me out. So yeah, that was the end of this video, and you guys might be wondering, Hey Notorious, what about the payout for this mission? Nothing to worry about my dear viewers and hopefully subscribers. I will let you guys see the payout of this mission in the end because that's really the only point of watching these videos, which is 
to know the final cut of these missions, so to know whether they're worth doing or not. So yeah, that was pretty much it. I got a quick Locust Sports Car Review or Showcase coming up soon, so if you guys want to see that, make sure to let me know down in the comment section. And also support this video and this channel by liking, commenting, sharing, and of course, subscribing, as I will immensely appreciate it. And you will be shouted out in the beginning of my next video, so keep that in mind. And I thought you were supposed to drop the container on top of the casino, but no, you have to deliver it over to the side of the road like I did. And as you can see at the top, I got $20,000 and 5,000 chips. So all in all, 25,000 chips, which is not that bad. So yeah, what's my conclusion and opinion about this mission? It is worth doing, as it pays out not too bad. $25,000 to be precise. So thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.